Taking a little time today to visit with Southeast Missouri State University head men's basketball coach Dickie Nutt. Coach Nutt, basketball season's right around the corner. You guys are going to be opening up practice the week of October 6th. How is the team shaping up so far? Well, uh, we feel good. We feel good about our team. I think we've added to our team. I think the recruiting went well. I think uh, our returning guys uh, are anxious to get going again and, and uh, hopefully uh, take up where we left off last year. But I do feel like we've had an outstanding summer, so I hope that that will lead into a, uh, a fantastic year for us. Coach, you have three returning starters. You've got Nino Johnson back. You've got Antonius Cleveland, who had a big year as a freshman. And you also have uh, Jerikus Bradley, who's going to get consideration for, you know, some preseason, some high preseason honors, uh, potentially even OVC preseason player of the year consideration. Um, and then you also have Josh Langford coming back, who, you know, started a significant amount of games last year. But talk about those returnees and then also talk about some of the newcomers. Well, I think the returnees, I think everybody wants to talk about Jerikus Bradley and uh, the type of player he is. And, you know, he came in and had an outstanding year for us last year. And even even he was injured somewhat. But I think after his surgery, when season was over, he had that uh, wrist surgery, and he got that out and, and behind him. Um, he, he's really even a better player uh, than he was uh, last year. But I think a lot of people want to talk about Antonius Cleveland, what a freshman year he had. Uh, we feel like that, uh, you know, he's even grown an inch. Uh, he's uh, gotten a lot more athletic, bigger, he's stronger. I think uh, he's going to be an exciting player to see. I think Nino Johnson uh, is really coming into his own. Uh, you know, Nino has not, and he can tell you this, he'll tell you this, uh, you know, he hasn't had uh, quite the success that he has anticipated. But uh, I, I do feel like the, ch the entire change uh, that he's made, uh, whether it be in the classroom with a 3.0 student, a 3.5 student, and leading out into the court, I think uh, carrying over to the court, I think he's going to be a good player for us. He's big, he's strong. I think you got to talk about uh, uh, Josh Langford. Here's a guy that, you know, last year he, when he came into our program, you know, he's been out a couple of years. So we, we feel like that he's kind of maybe knocked that rust off of him, uh, so to speak. And so we're looking for big things for him. So, you know, just to name a few of those guys that are returning. Coach, you certainly have a – a lot of talent on this team. Um, you're coming off of an 18 win season last year. You got another win at the conference tournament last year. Um, you're definitely got a lot of things to build on, but let's talk about your schedule a little bit. You've got some good non-conference opponents, including SIU. You've got Missouri Absolutely. State. You've got three SEC teams on the schedule. Let's talk about that. Well, I think um, uh, there's no question this, this, uh, this is one of the best schedules. I feel like in maybe uh, that we've had here in a long time. And, uh, you know, we just think it's time to step up. I know, I know that, uh, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me if, if I was out of my mind when we made that schedule. But, you know, I think the point is, is that we, we have arrived to a place uh, where we need to get over the hurdle. And, and in order to do this is that you, you've got to strengthen your RPI uh, and, and you got to make sure, and then you got to try to win some of these games. Uh, we think it's an outstanding schedule. It's an ex exciting one. And, and so if you're a real fan, if you're a real basketball fan, you'll take a look at this schedule and really want to be a part of it and, and try to make a difference with this team because we feel like we can compete. We feel like we're going to be competitive. Uh, but this schedule is going to be an exciting one. You know, you look at, like you mentioned, three SEC teams, and then now you talk about uh, SIU Carbondale coming to town. you got Missouri State coming to town. We want, it, we want to really try to move our program to another level. And the only way to do that is to schedule good people. And then just uh, one last question for you. You also have a couple new faces on your coaching staff this year. You've got Stetson Harrison, who had an outstanding career uh, when he was a student athlete at Southern Illinois University. Um, you've got Justin Arginal. He previously coached at the Citadel. But talk about those guys. And then you also have uh, your assistant that's been with you the whole time you've been here, Jamie Rosser. Well, I think my, you know, my associate head coach uh, is um, Jamie Rosser, and he does a fantastic job. And he's, uh, well, I watched him grow in the last five years to become, you know, he had some opportunities this summer uh, to, to take a different job, and, and he didn't do it. He felt like we had unfinished business here, but I'm really proud of Jamie. Then you look at Justin Arginal, and here's a guy uh, from the Citadel. He comes in, a uh, great rec recommendation. Uh, he was at Louisiana Tech. He brings up. Uh, a lot of basketball knowledge and organization to our program. And, and last but not least, Stetson Harrison. I mean, here's a guy that, uh, uh, you know, I think his record and his background speaks for itself. Uh, but, the, but the good thing about Stetson is that, um, you know, he's from the city of St. Louis. Uh, the deciding factor was is that we really felt like in the next few years we've got to get into St. Louis. 
uh, we feel like that St. Louis in the next couple of years have some outstanding up and coming talent. And I really needed a guy that could get us in that door. Well, thank you for your time today, Coach, and uh, best of luck this upcoming 2014-15 season. Once again, that is Southeast Missouri State University head men's basketball coach Dickie Nutt. Follow all your Red Hawk teams at GoSoutheast.com.